Here is a new sample workout for the new Beachbody program, Muscle Burns Fat, and this is the advanced version. If you have any questions about this program, ask away in the comments below, and I will also leave a 14 day free trial for Beachbody On Demand, along with details about how you can get me as your Beachbody coach. I'm Megan Davies, and I am ready to help you take those results to the next level with MBFA Muscle Burns Fat Advanced. Three weeks, 25 to 40 minutes a day, and all you need are your dumbbells and your bod ropes. We amp up the intensity of this program with Megan Minutes, one minute heavy strength training intervals where I really want you to bring your all so we can continue to ramp up your metabolism, get you lean, strong, and healthy, and burn fat. So you can get results like this, this, and this. So get ready to level up with MBFA. Hey guys, welcome to the MBFA sample workout. I'm gonna give you a taste of each of the workouts in this program, so today is gonna to be a full body day. Now, I know you guys are ready to go. How's the rest of my team doing today? <laughs> Love it. I hope you all took your energize today, because this is gonna be a great workout. Grab your bod ropes. I know you guys are already ready to go. In four, three, two, one, let's go. Lots of energy pushing through those toes. Now we use these bod ropes just as interval spikes between cardio days and our weight training days. You're gonna see them used a lot, so just get into the rhythm, find the beat with the music. Make sure you take a look at Lacey. How you doing today, Lacey? Hey, hey, I'm doing great, Megan. Lacey is our modifier. She's showing you the modification. She's marching it out. She still keeps that intensity up. Oh yeah. Knees high. Let's go. So this program is the first time that we have the cast at home just like you guys every single day. So when I'm talking to them, I'm talking to you too. I want you to check out your form and also get excited about this workout today. Bring all the energy and all the focus. Last couple seconds here. Really pick up the pace. Four, three, two, and one. Thought ropes down. Nice. Going into the squats. Four, three, two, and one. Squat and stand. Squat and stand. Sit the hips back. Now we're dialing up everything today. New moves and our Megan Minutes, which you're gonna find out about pretty soon here. <laughs> Whole new level to this exercise. Reverse lunge to twist. Here we go. Step back, twist center and up. Step, twist, center, and up. You guys got it. Nice rotation. I know, a little bit of coordination on this one, but we want to get the spine and the core warmed up too. Feels great on that spine. Twisting over the front knee. So good. Nice job, guys. Back, twist, up. Last one, back, twist, up. Nice, bring the feet underneath the hips. Bend the knees slightly. Hinge and reach. We're pulling down. Here we go. Pull and reach. Pull. Good. Keeping the back flat. Squeeze behind the shoulders. That feels good. Let that music drive your pace and keep the intensity. Awesome job. Two more. Heading into inchworms. Here we go. Crouch down. Get ready, we're gonna walk out to plank. Four, three, two, and one. Walk out, and in, staying low. Out, and in. Keeping the core tight. Tiny little steps with your hands. Getting the chest and shoulders warmed up here. Last two. And last one. In. Awesome job. Shake it out, very good. Going into our first block is our asymmetrical block. Grabbing a moderate to heavy dumbbell, holding it at your left shoulder. We have three exercises back to back, about 30 seconds each exercise. First move, side lunge. Side lunge to a clean, we step out, nice and slow coming down. Push off that outside foot, clean it up to your shoulder. Lots of power, keeping the weight nice and close to your body. Second move, dip and press. 
slow and controlled coming down. It's called a push press. And the third move is just a combo. Side lunge slow, clean it up, reset, push press. This should be familiar to MBF, I promise you. New movements coming up though. Here we go. Have that weight ready. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Down. Nice and slow. Pop, reset. New beats now. MBF A has new music. Whole new ball game. Same format through all the strength workouts, minus the fact that we add a few mega minutes. And that's gonna take up the intensity up a whole lot. But you got this. You've been preparing oh, yeah. for it. Oh, yeah. All through MBS. Yeah, right. Nice job. Ready for the A. Last one before push press. Up, reset, going up. Dip and press. Four, three, two, one. Dip and press. Four, three, two, one. Use the hips here. Woo. Building muscle increases your metabolism. That's the essence of this program. That's what we're working towards. Every single beat, every single rep. Have that power standing up to the top. Two more. Down and press. Four, three, two, one. Down. Combo coming up. Side lunge. Here we go. Out. Up. Reset. Dip and press. Four, three, two, one. Side lunge. Nice. We have four combos. So you're almost there on this side. Four, three, two, halfway. Down. Load the glute and fire up. Down and press. Four, three, two, one. Down. Clean, reset, dip, and press. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Transition to the other side. Shake that arm out. Going out to the left. Here we go. In four, three, two, one. Down. Nice and slow. Control that pace coming down. Down. Woo. Then power coming up to the top. Now we have one dumbbell in our hand, and we do that because we're doing asymmetrical training. Challenges our core to stay engaged the entire time. It's also gonna work out some of those imbalances that we have in our body. You have one side stronger than the other? Yeah. This yeah. is gonna be good for you. I feel that for sure. Two more, yes. <laughs> I can get lower on this side. Up and up. reset. Last one. Yeah. Up, push press, dip and press. Four, three, two, yeah. one. Dip. Uh-huh. Press. Nice. With push press, we're using the hips to create momentum. So it should not just be your shoulder. Let your hips help your shoulder do the work. Keep the core tight. Nice. If you need help on your form, check out MBF A Form Basics and MBF Form Basics. Both of those are gonna help you so much. Make sure you get the most out of these workouts. Last one, and combo, side lunge. Here we go. Out. Clean, reset, going up, dip, and press. Four, three, two, one, nice. Woo. Up, reset, dip, and press. Four, three, two, one, last time. Not looking good today. Awesome, one more time. Let's go. Out. Woo. Up, reset. Everything got. Press, four, three, two, one. Nice, so we normally would have two rounds, but instead, we're going into our first Megan minute. This is a heavy strength training interval, so it's gonna take your training up a notch. Feet wider than shoulder width apart. Yeah. Toes facing forwards. Dumbbells down in front of you. We're sitting the hips back into that side lunge, up through the center. Everything's slow. We'll get, get about eight reps done on each side in the minute. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Make sure you have heavier dumbbells here, a pair. In three, two, let's go. Down. And up. Set the hips back. Make sure the toes are facing forward. Keeping the chest up. You guys got this. Get low, but make sure your hips are dictating how low you get. 
Now, if you've already done MBS, then I want you taking up a notch and maximizing your results through MBFA. Should be a whole new ball game. Should be the heaviest ever. You got it. These Megan minutes are here, so you can lift heavy and build muscle. Yes, we're moving slow, but I want you to make sure you're picking up those heavier dumbbells, challenging yourself every single time. Woo! Yeah. Sit the butt back. Keep the feet flat on the floor. Lower. Make sure feet yeah. are parallel to each other. Toes facing forward. Last two. Come on, guys. And up through the center. Last oh, one. Goodness. Down. And up. Woo! Awesome. Dumbbells down. Bod ropes up. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Woo! All right, so this is our bod rope burnout. So I want you to elevate your heart rate right here. Really put some energy into it. Burn some calories. All right, now's the time. Get sweaty. Get moving. I'm sweating. Now, I know there's one person in this group we maybe haven't seen before. That's Bridget, and she absolutely crushed my test group. How much weight did you lose, Bridget? I lost 19 pounds in nine weeks, and I told amazing. She absolutely crushed it, and she's so competitive. I know, even through this jump rope, she's like, ah! She gets out here every single day. That's what it's about. Get ready. High knees, let's go. Nice. She's still getting up those knees high. She's killing it. Let's go, Bridget. Nice job. Keep breathing, keep working. Three, two, one, time. Woo! All right, make sure that you always write down your weights on your tracker sheet after every block. Going into our strength block, light to moderate weights. I'm gonna go for 10s. You have two different exercises. If you do wanna switch out the weights, you can. All right, first exercise, alternating cross body row. Feet apart, knees slightly bent, hinge from the hips. Bring those weights up to the sides of your ribs. Reach and row, alternate sides. Second exercise, hold the weights to your chest. Squat, stand, push, and pull. You guys ready? Yep. Grab those weights. Hands at your ribs, hinge from the hips. Get ready. Four, three, two, and one. Reach, pull, reach, and pull. Try not to rotate through the core, keeping the chest, the belly button facing the floor. Stick your booty back, keep your chest proud. You should have a flat back here. You wanna make sure if you need to videotape yourself, if you need to look in the mirror, then that's what I wanna see. Four more. In three, you guys got it. Last two, last one. Excellent. Push the weights together. At your chest, feet apart. In four, three, two, one. Squat, stand, push, and pull. Nice. So if you're like Vanessa and Lyndon here, they're always pushing themselves, pushing each other to do their very best and lift heavier. So if you don't have that accountability at home, find it in your bod groups with Team Beach Body. Last one. Nice. Pinch from the hips. Get ready. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Reach and up. Reach and up. And I saw MJ switching out her weights because she's going heavier on this exercise as opposed to the one that we're using our shoulders a lot more. And that's what I love to see. Challenge yourself. You have those two weight counts. As long as you're doing it quickly, getting back into it. Love it. Last one. Bring the weights up to the chest. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Squat, stand, push, and pull. Straight from the chest, guys. Get low. Woo! Now we also have on the go workouts. So if you don't have your equipment one day, we got you. No problem. Hit those on the go workouts. Still get that work done. Last one. Down, up. Push and pull. Nice. Getting ready. Hinge. Four, three, two, and one. Reach and row. Last time, guys. Last time of both exercises. Keep your core tight. Keep your glutes engaged. Squeeze in and work it so they help your lower back. Stay in this position. Four more. In three, 
Two. All the way down back. And one. Nice job. Pull the weights up. Last time, squat to belly press. Four, three, two, and one. Squat, stand, push, and pull. Love it. Get low, guys. Just because we're tired, no garbage reps. Get as low as you can go with good form. Hey, two more. We're on fire, but we ain't tired. Last one. Woo. I'm sweating. All right, we have our second thugging minute now. All right, so we're bringing the weights down underneath our shoulders. We have a beast position, knees an inch off the ground, flat back, nice and slow, alternating rows. Again, eight to each side. You guys ready for this one? Yeah. Yes. All right, modified movement, keep your knees on the floor. All right, so find your position, shoulders over the wrist. Getting ready, up into the position. Four, three, two, one, up. And down, nice and controlled. Try not to turn your body. Yes. Now, if this hurts your wrist, make sure your wrist is in a straight line as you put that hand back down. You can also modify. Lacey's showing you that modification. She has her knees on the ground. Yes, one minute. Only eight on each side. Seems like an eternity. We have 10 minute bonus workouts for you guys as well. So if you don't feel like you got enough during one of your workouts, I don't know when that would be. We have these 10 minutes that you can hit after. Up. Awesome. Also making sure our nutrition is on point. To be mindset, ultimate portion fix is gonna help you get there. Nutrition and these workouts, that's what's key to get you the results. Almost there. Two more. Up. And down, last one. Up and down. This sweat is like pouring down my arm. All right. Dumbbells away. Bob rows up. Here we go. Let's go. Woo. All right. I'm gonna take you another second to grab those bob ropes and get into it. That's okay. Now's our opportunity. Kind of shake things out before we really take it up a notch with the high knees. You guys are over halfway through this workout. We got this. How you guys feeling? Love it. Sweating up a storm. I love it. So, I also want to introduce you guys to Natalie that is with us today. And the cool thing about Natalie, if you would have seen her a year ago, you would have seen her using a walker to walk around. But check out her jump rope right here. What were your test group results like, Natalie? On, I lost 12 pounds and 16 inches in nine weeks. <laughs> Incredible. She had a major hip surgery. She got stronger. She was cleared to work out, crushing it ever since. Oh, yeah. That's that strong mentality that we're talking about. And time. We're having so much fun. <laughs> so we have our bod ropes in hand. We have two exercises, three rounds back to back, 30 seconds each. So you guys should be marking your MRAP scores at the end of each workout in your calendar. So you can make sure you're keeping track and beating that score every single week. All right, the AMRAP stays the same, you get better at it. Grab those bottles. Here we go. Down, jump. Four, three, two. Down. Three, two, one. Let's work, people. You're not gonna see that AMRAP today. You gotta check it out in the program. Core circuit days. You got it. The legs are burning. How about you guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last one. Forward and backwards. One more time. Let's go. All right. My calves are on fire. Legs are on fire. And we only have one more time through this. Then we go to core. So push yourself. Halfway. We got this. Woo. You know I got to breathe right now. We got this. Getting ready. Grab those bob ropes. Four, three, two, one. Down. Hop. I got my bob ropes. Last time three. Lacey's modifying. She's stepping it up to the side and then marching. Oh, yeah. Come on, Lacey. I'm getting it. Woo. Cassidy, how are you feeling? I'm pushing the bag. <laughs> two more. Last one. All right, 
Okay, core block. Bod ropes down. Lay on the floor. First move. New move for most of us. Feet out. Hands by the ears. Tricycle. Three rotations to one knee before we kick back out. Same thing on the other side. Next one. Side crunch. Arm out. Legs and upper body meet in the middle. Third move. Plank to bear hop. Plank position. Knees underneath the hips and back out. And then we have that other side crunch on the other side. Two rounds through. You guys ready? Yeah. Red pulls. Four, three, two, one. Drive, cross, cross, kick. Drive, cross, cross, kick. Rotate through the core. Almost out to the side. Lacey's mod. Keeping the feet on the ground. Nice job. Cross. We got this. And out. Two more. Last one. Side crunch coming up. And out. Roll to your side. Arm out. Get ready. Four, three, two, one. Up and down. Up, down. Nice. Lazy's modifying by bringing one leg up instead of both. Still crunching up to the side. Oh, yeah. Woo. Uh, it burns. We got it. Two oh, more. Up, down, up, plank position. Roll over. Get ready. Four, three, two, one. In and out. Keeping the butt low. Every single rep. Knees in and drop the floor. Knees come up underneath the hips. You kick back out. You let the legs float up underneath you. Shoulders over the wrist. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Flip over. Getting ready. Four. Three. Two. One. Up. Down. Woo. We move fast, guys. We never spend a lot of time sitting around. You're going to get a lot of work done in a little bit amount of time. Nice. Three more. You got it. Two. Last one. Try to go. Second block through. All right. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. One. Cross. 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 Kick. You guys got it. One more time through each of these exercises. So stay focused. As you work through that point of being uncomfortable, that's when those changes are going to happen. Last one. Cross. And out. Side crunch. Flipping over. In four, three, two, one. Up. Down. Woo. Now, we can work the core all we want, and it will get stronger, but our nutrition needs to be on point. If you're looking for that defined midsection, make sure you're spending some time in the kitchen, meal prepping, getting that under control. Last two. Last one. Nice. Flip over. Plank position. Get ready. Four, three, two, one. In and out. In and out. Shoulders over the wrist. Look out in front of your hands. Keep your back, your upper body in alignment. Like I said, let the feet float underneath you. Then kick them back out. Keep breathing, keep working. Two more. Last one. Side crunch. Roll over. Last core move. Four, three, two, one. Up, down. Up, down. I said last core move, but you guys know we still have Megan minutes in our core block. So I like not last core move. <laughs> we love Mega Minutes. Last two. Last one. Nice job. Woo. All right, add a weight. One light dumbbell for a Mega Minute. Feet, your heels are on the ground, your knees are bent. You're sitting up nice and tall, you're leaning back, you're engaging your core, your weight is at your right shoulder. Hold on firmly to that dumbbell, push up and back down to the other shoulder as you're leaning back. All right, you guys are ready. Have that weight up, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Up, down, up, down. Now I'm using a 10 pound weight, but I want you going light, all right? Core doesn't require too much weight. Something you can work with. 
for a whole minute. <laughs> this is the time. Maximizing that fat burn. Keep that core engaged. Building muscles. Lifting that metabolism up. Make your body take some of that fat storage for energy. That's what we're trying to do here. So don't be afraid to push into that zone. Push through that burn, guys. I know. Hurts from the legs, up through the core, into the shoulders. We got this. I'm losing inches, getting stronger together. We got this. Last one to each side. Oh, the core ones hurt. <laughs> All right, we have our EMOM. This is from our Saturday workout. Every minute on the minute. All right, and you have two moves every minute on the minute. Grab a light to moderate pair of dumbbells. First move at the top of each minute, you go 10 squats. As soon as you're done with 10 squats, put your weights down, 10 squat jumps. Top of every minute, grab your weights. Get ready for it. Five minutes on the clock. In three, two, and one. 10 squats. This is off the beat to your own pace. As soon as you get done with 10 squats, put your weights down. 10 squat jumps as fast as you can. All right? Woo! Nice job. Put the weights away from your feet so you don't trip on them. Modify by coming up onto your toes instead. Oh, yeah. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> you have about 10 seconds because at 40 seconds I cut you off. I at least want you to have 20 seconds to rest. Woo! Almost there, last couple seconds to finish. Three, two, one, time. 40 seconds, rest here. You have at least 20 seconds. We're gonna do the same thing on the next minute, okay? Probably about 10 seconds left, so grab your dumbbells. Start getting ready. Four, three, squat. Here we go. Go. Every time you hear that noise, this is no joke. 25 minute workout in MBFA on a Saturday. Get in, get out, get on with your weekend. But we're gonna get a lot of work done. All right? Keep that power. We might get tired. We're not gonna act tired. We ain't tired. We ain't tired. Not tired yet. Got about 10 seconds to finish. If you're done, take a deep breath. Think about your recovery. Three, two, one, time. At least 20 seconds for our third middle round. I can feel that energized right now. Come on, family, we got you. I can feel that willpower. All right, no joke. The next step, grab those dumbbells. Round three, go round. Let's go. Right here, 10. Let's go. Four. Four. Okay, no joke, we're turning up the volume here, guys. Yeah. Keep that intensity, keep that focus. Now just go through the motion, move fast. She knows that one, I can't breathe. Keep going, guys. Melissa Cunnett. Love it. I see you guys. Come on. Three, two, one. Time. 40 seconds. 20 seconds of rest. I don't know about you guys, but I need it. Woo. Right? But we're almost done with today's workout, guys. Oh yeah. Grab your dumbbells. Start getting ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, this workout is all about power. So if you're using dumbbells that are so heavy for you, that makes you move really slow, that's not what today's workout is about. That's our strength days. It's our power day. All right, make sure you know the difference, that you move differently during each of these workouts. Woo! Shake it out when you're done. And breathe. Okay. Into the bottom of your lungs. I went faster that round. I was challenging myself, Megan. Time. Yeah. You're not done with your 40 seconds. 
Down now. Rest. All right. If you need some more warm up for some of these workouts, we have movement prep videos and your bonus content. All right. So get there. Grab those weights. Four, three, two, one. Go. Last minute. So I'm going to give you the full minute to complete these exercises. If you've been getting cut off at that 40 seconds, you're going to have the full minute to get these done. Keep that heart rate up, guys. I know it hurts. Know the difference between muscle fatigue and burning and pain. We don't work through pain. You guys got it. Like I said, I'm not cutting you off on this one. So keep going. It's your last minute, last opportunity to crush this workout. Let's go, guys. 20 seconds. Push. Find that beat. Get excited about this workout. All right? Almost done. You're cooling down after this. 10 more seconds. And I don't feel it. I feel it. Push to that burn, guys. Four, three, two, one. Time. Awesome job. Awesome job. Do you see this look of concern on my face? <laughs> it was hard. We're with you. Clear your workout space. Nice job. We did it. We did it. All right. Mobility from our Sunday workout. All right, we're gonna go down into our catcher squat. One of my favorite stretches. So feet shoulder width apart. Deep breath in. Here we go. While we're down into a squat position, hips down, chest up, and just focus on your breathing here. Breathing into the bottom of your lungs, exhaling slowly so we can start getting control of our body again. Most people skip this workout. I want you to make sure you get there, you stay accountable throughout the week, and get ready for the next week. This helps you get better range of motion through your exercises. It means better form, better results, all right? Recovery we're gonna lift, so right, much. we're gonna stretch so the right hand to the left side. <laughs> out, reach the other arm up. Woo. Bring the chest out to the side. Keep breathing. Nice. After this workout, you're definitely gonna need your BBP recover. <laughs> I definitely need it. Yeah. Woo. All right, we're gonna bring the hands in between our feet. We're gonna step the right leg back. So come back to center, hands down, right leg back. Step back into world's greatest stretch. Now, Lacey's gonna modify, she's gonna stay here. The rest of us, I want you to take your hips, rotate them out to the side, toes and body facing this direction, keeping your chest up, this foot flat on the ground. And if you need to come up a little bit higher, you can, but if it hurts, stay in that original greatest stretch position. Focus on your posture here. Bring the hands back down by the foot, rotate to world's greatest. We're gonna step back out and do the other side. So step up, come up into catchers, Stretch the other arm out. Hand comes towards the ceiling. Really bring that chest out to the side. Woo. You guys are gonna love these Sunday mobility flow days. So good. Get that body moving. Last deep breath in here. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Let's bring the hands down to center. Left foot steps back. Step back, hang out in world's greatest stretch if you need to. Otherwise, hips fall out to the side. Toes, chest facing this direction, foot flat on the floor. And then think about your posture. Think about your breathing. It's called the Cossack squat. All right, we're trying to get our hips low. Again, I see Michelle's up a little bit higher. If you need that, do it, all right? You're still gonna get excellent mobility and range of motion here. Bring the hands back down to center world's greatest stretch, and step up to our catcher squat. Last time, come into that catcher squat. Stand up, shake it out. Woo. Awesome job today, guys. How do you feel? 
Uh, you guys did I it. amazing. I want you to make sure that you're dialing in your nutrition for the last three weeks of MBFA. Make sure that you look at the Getting Started Guide, that you take your day one measurements and pictures. That's a really important part. And of course, talk to your Team Beach Body coach to get started on day one, and I will see you then. Bye guys, awesome job today.